Blessings, 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 beloved, to my Smurf and TikTok family. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson, and I do read, beloved, seven minutes every day, so you do not have to read. Today's read is for Sunday, July 17th, 2022, Genesis, the 40th chapter, and verses 40, 40th chapter, and 41st chapter. Genesis 40 and 8 reads, do not interpretations belong to God? Tell me them. I pray you. So, Joseph has been locked in prison, but he is an interpreter. He's a dreamer, and he is an interpreter of dreams. Not all people can interpret their dreams, but he can. Reading from the King James Version of the Word of God, and it reads, And it came to pass after these things that the butler of the king of Egypt and his baker had offended their lord, the king of Egypt. And Pharaoh was wroth against two of his officers, against the chief of the butlers and against the chief of the bakers. And he put them inward in the house of the captain of the guard into the prison, the place where Joseph was bound. And the captain of the guard charged Joseph with them, and he served them, and they continued a season inward. And they dreamed, a dream both of them, each man his dream in one night, each man according to the interpretation of his dream, the butler and the baker of the king of Egypt, which was bound in the prison. And Joseph came in unto them in the morning, and looked upon them, and behold, they were sad. And he asked Pharaoh's officers that were with him in the ward of his lord's house, saying, Wherefore look ye so sad today? And they said unto him, We have dreamed a dream, and there is no interpreter for of it. And this is what Joseph said unto them. Do not interpretations belong to God? Tell me them, I pray you. And the chief butler told his dream to Joseph and said to him, In my dream, behold, a vine was before me. And in the vine were three branches, and it was as though it budded, and her blossom shot forth. And the clusters thereof brought forth ripe grapes. And Pharaoh's cup was in my hand, and I took the grapes and pressed them into the Pharaoh's cup. And I gave the cup unto Pharaoh's hand. And Joseph said unto him, This is the interpretation of it. Three branches are three days. Yet within three days shall Pharaoh lift up thine head and restore thee unto thy place, and thou shalt deliver Pharaoh's cup into his hand after the former manner when thou wast his butler. But think on me when it shall come, when it shall be with thee. And shew kindness, I pray unto me and make mention of me unto Pharaoh and bring me out of this house. For indeed I was stolen away out of the land of the Hebrews and here also have I done nothing that they should put me into the dungeon. So when the chief baker saw that the interpretation was good, then he said unto Joseph, I also was in my dream and behold, I had three white baskets on my head. And in the uppermost basket, there was of all manner of meat, baked meats. For Pharaoh and the birds did eat them out of the baskets upon my head. And Joseph answered and said, Now this is the interpretation thereof. The three baskets, again, are three days. Yet within three days shall Pharaoh lift up thy head from off thee, and shall hang thee on a tree, and the bird shall eat thy flesh from off thee. And it came to pass the third day, which was Pharaoh's birthday, that he made a feast unto all his servants, and he lifted up the head of the chief butler and of the chief baker among his servants. And he restored the chief butler unto the buttership again, and he gave the cup unto Pharaoh's hand. But he hanged the chief baker as Joseph had interpreted to them. Yet did not the chief butler remember Joseph? But forget him. See, when you get help people get out of trouble, as soon as they're out, they forget all about you. Chapter 41. So it came to pass at the end of two full years, the Pharaoh dreamed, and behold, he stood by the river, and behold, there came up out of the river seven well-favored kine, and fat-fleshed, and they fed in a meadow. And behold, seven other kine came up after them out of the river, ill-favored and lean-fleshed and stood by the other kind upon the brink. 